Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy! <laughs> I have been waiting for this package right here. So, as you guys can see, a new package just came in. Um, I, <laughs> you guys don't see a lot of these videos on my channel. I'm from Canada, and with the, with the dollar exchange and the shipping charges and the duties at the border, I don't really order from Tackle Warehouse a lot. Um, but that being said, there's a couple things that I have been looking tirelessly for here in Canada and I have not been able to found. So of course, last resort, I have to get them from the States. Aaron Davis and I, we kind of combined orders um, and ordered one big package from Tackle Warehouse. So we were able to split shipping and kind of make it more worth it at the end. So <laughs> I've had everyone's okay to do an unboxing of our Tackle Warehouse order. Mind you, pretty much half of the stuff is not mine. Uh, Davis actually ended up ordering a lot, but we got these baits pretty much for the same purpose. So of course I'm gonna talk about the baits that I got in more detail, but a lot of the baits that Davis and Aaron got are also for the same purpose. So I'm gonna be kind of elaborating on why we kind of went with these baits. As you guys will see, we pretty much bought out one of the, one of the, yeah, let me just bring the package here. So this package is actually not as big as I thought it was gonna be. <sighs> bring this here to the unboxing station that I have not used in a long time. Like you guys will see, we, <laughs> we kind of think the same way a little bit, but um, I'm gonna set, set this whole little backdrop up and we're gonna get to the unboxing. All right, so I actually haven't, been home in a long time. We got a new chair here, guys. Look at this. This is like a like a heavy duty leather chair. So that's gonna take up a lot of room here. So I mean, obviously with this whole COVID-19 thing going on, I have been doing a fair bit of shopping. <laughs> um, I'm, you know, back home and social distancing, self physical isolation, whatever you want to call it. I do have classes, but I also have internet <laughs> so that's how this thing came about i was bored looking on taco warehouse um you guys will see pike seasons coming up a lot of this stuff is for pike yeah hopefully you guys you know enjoy this video while you guys are self-isolating and um hopefully not spending too much money on tackle yourselves so like i said um not all of this is going to be going into my tackle box but like i also said <laughs> we kind of have the same mentality um for the baits that we bought. All right. I haven't done an unboxing in such a long time. This is so exciting. As you guys can see, we are full to the brim of goodness. So getting started, my stuff first, kind of get that out of the way, kind of organize this video a little bit, I guess you could say. Um, I have, I've, I've only, I don't really use a lot of Rage Tail products. Um, but I do have this one pack of Rage Craws that I started using last year. I've had this bag, I've had this package in my tackle box for like years, okay? And I tied it on a Texas rig last year and I did really well. And that's kind of been like stuck in my head a little bit. It has a really, really good action. Um, so of course, I could not find this color anywhere here in Canada. So as soon as all the guys were like, okay, I'm in for the tackle warehouse order, I put some in my in my cart. So this is actually the bait I'm talking about. This is the Rage Craw in Plum Crazy. Um, you guys can get probably get a better look online. It's like a plum color with some blue and black fleck. Uh, as you guys know, the action on the Rage Craws is absolutely amazing. Um, they are really they are fairly soft. They I do go through the, I do go through them very quickly. But um, yeah, I just kind of treat myself with some new craws. Like I need like I need more craws, but. Um, <laughs> That's that. I also got some uh, Rage Bugs in Chameleon. I've been pretty good on black and blue. I wanted to try this color out. It looks really, really good. It's like a plum on top and like a watermelon on the bottom. Um, yeah, looks pretty good. Gonna give that a go. And I have yet to try this bait. This is the Menace, the Rage Tail Menace. Um, this was actually in, per uh, in Pearl Flash, as you guys can see. Nice pearly color. It's like a pearl color in, uh, on the bottom or on the top, whatever, has a translucent white color with some black flick. I got these for chatterbaits as trailers. 
I know a lot of guys that um, use it as trailers on like jigs, chatterbaits, spinnerbaits kind of deal. So I got some white to give it a go. I use a lot of white and chartreuse chatterbaits, so this should fit perfectly. All right, <laughs> where do we go from here? We got a shirt. It was free, so free shirts. Um, this is also mine. It was actually on sale. It's the Aaron Martin's um, Finesse Heavy Cover Worm Hook. Right here, you guys can see. I have a smaller size. This is size one, by the way, it was on sale. I have the size two and I really, really like them. So I got the size one just to give them a go. They're like two bucks off, I mean, why not? I actually also use this hook on the uh, Freedom Tackle Zodiac head with the LB Gobi, uh, ice fishing actually. So um, yeah, I got, I got more hooks for that purpose. The great thing about the Freedom Tackle system is that most of their head, or all of their heads, you can interchange the hooks. So they have like a swim jig head that I was using a couple of years ago. And what I did is I put a smaller hook, something like this, usually, usually a size two though, and put a 3.8 inch rhythm wave on the back. So that swam really well as well. I'm gonna be doing that this summer, of course. And yeah, just some nice hooks. I probably won't be using them for finesse heavy cover worm, but they are, uh, you know, gamagatsu. So they're good hooks. Ooh. I got a box. These are the box I use for my tackle. They're waterproof. They have the Zeros tabs, which I put in all of my boxes, even if they aren't flambeau boxes. And um, I had one break on me actually during transport, which kind of sucks. Like cracked here and the seal broke. So unfortunately, I have to get another one. Um, you know, there's probably a better box out there, but I'm OCD a little bit and all my boxes got to match. So we got the same box. <laughs> Let's throw that over there. Not taking too much room. All right, and then the rest of the stuff in here is pretty much swim bait stuff. Uh, we pretty much bought out all the shine glides. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We got a, we bought a we bought a fair bit of shine glides. So let me organize this a little bit. Um, we have one, two, three, four. Savage Gear Shine Glide, 7.25 inches in Gizzard Shad. Um, we have, like I said, four of them. And the reason why we have four of them is because I got one of these used actually on Swimbait Universe uh, last year, two years ago. And last year I had an amazing time fishing for pike with them. I figured them out. I figured out the way they wanted the bait presented and I absolutely smashed them. Sad thing is, I ended up losing that bait, so um, it's been on my, you know, shopping list since then. And I picked up two of them, so two of these, two of these four are mine. Actually, you know what? We have five. <laughs> we have five Savage Gear Shine Glides in Gizzard Shad. Uh, so two of these are mine. Um, I bought one and one as a backup <laughs> for this pike season. Two of these are Aaron's because he's been fishing with me and he saw how well I did with them. And so he bought two. <laughs> and one of these is Davis's because Davis knows what's up. <laughs> so uh, five gizzard shads. But I can tell you guys, they're gonna be put to good use. So we finished going through my stuff. Aaron just ordered two gizzard shads and now the rest is Davis's stuff. Um, Davis has a pretty good eye for swim baits. He's also kind of big into the pike swim bait game, even the bass swim bait game. So he knows what's up. We're gonna go through these really quickly. Um, I don't even really remember what he ordered. He did order another one of the shine glides. This one's in perch color. It actually looks really, really good. It looks pretty dark on the photos online, but it has that like pink belly and it's a lot more like lighter color than the pictures show. But that looks really, really good as well. Um, we have some boat stuff that he got for his boat. He's uh, he's uh, pretty handy with his boat. And the rest are swim baits. So we're, we're gonna see, woo, we're gonna see 168 S waiver. This one is in like a baby bass color. What color is it? Yep, yeah, baby bass. We have, oh, this actually looks really good. Wow, I should have got one of these. Whoa, <laughs> S-Waver 200, this is Party Crasher. Um, 200 size bigger than the last one, of course. That actually looks really good, wow. I'm jealous. <laughs> and this is 3D foreplay 
V2, slow sink, Savage Gear, bait. And this is in like a roach slash perch color. Cold yellow perch actually. That actually looks really good too. And last but not least, ooh, <laughs> this is the 3D Roach Shine Glider. Um, color is Hitch. That looks pretty damn good too. That's really, really big. That's actually a pretty big bait. What is this? Nine inches, four and a half ounces. Damn, that looks really, really good. That looks gonna get smashed by Pike. That looks awesome. So that being said, that's a wrap for everything we ordered. Um, I'm stocked up on Savage Gear now, that's for sure. We're all gonna be throwing Savage Gear all spring, you know, as long as boat ramps open and we can actually get out fishing in Ontario right now. Uh, boat ramps are closed, parks are closed. They don't want people on the water just for, probably for safety reasons because like all the emergency services are pretty backed up. But that being said, hopefully they do open boat launches and we do end up going fishing. Um, I, one way or another, I'm gonna find myself on the lake. I can guarantee you guys that. But like I said, hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you guys are staying safe. And other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one.